we doing? <clears throat> so, am I good to sail this tractor then? Oh, it's weird being back on the old farm, so... Long time no see. Ah, I've been about. Uh, so far so good, I mean, uh, obviously I'm on the multiplayer farm, so it's, yeah, it's not my farm, so I'm a little bit lost. Obviously I'm on someone else's farm, so it's, it's all a bit weird, but we'll figure it out. Going through the Discord. Yeah, all the, all the links, everything's in the Discord, so... There's only two tractors, so there's pointless joining. I've still got a lot of caching to do as well. You stuttery. Alright, Mary, how we doing? Wheel feels good on here though. It's nice having some centre spring. Right, the only thing is, I don't know where anything is. Oh, farm is tight. The boy said the farm was tight. Holy shit. Uh, that the. Is it a cultivator and seed we're running at the minute, yeah? Poor, oh, this is tight, mate. Holy shit. Nice, though, like. So we've got to come around this way, then. Where did I leave my tractor? I can't seem to get the uh, I can't seem to get the quick cam to work. So we're stuck uh, looking forward all the time. Yeah, this is Brin server, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's good. I mean, I, I don't really, uh, I'm a little bit lost on, like, where everything is, and, uh, yeah, I just, I just need to learn how he does things, so. I tried setting up in the menu, but I can't get it to work. I just get an error, so. It's all good. It's just, it's just hard to live without it when you've used it for so long. got the real head motion thing in it as well I think you good Bryn? I don't think Bryn he's very quiet don't know if that's a me thing or how do I how do I get back to the field?
Can't change the chamber. What? Camber. I don't know what that means. Camber? Maybe? I can't read, so my bad. What do you want there, uh, putting in here? I've been doing uh, soybeans just to get some cash flow coming in. Soybeans it is. If you, if you want to put something different in, go for it. <coughs> Oh no, I'll just start blending with you boys, it's all good. How's the rig compared to Fnatic? It, it doesn't, it doesn't compare, that's the problem. Well, not the problem, but that's the good thing. Look after your fan. Yeah, no, you're good. I don't think I'll be in a lot. Uh, I'll try. I'll try and get back into it a little bit, but. The the whole grinding aspect of farm sim now for me is just. I'm so over it. I've actually been looking at some uh, some RP farms is what I've been looking into a little bit uh, and just getting a job on one of them and just going there and do a bit of streaming in there, you know? So that's what I've kind of been looking at. But then when I get on with all the boys and that, I do really enjoy it, but it's just that same thing that you've been doing since 2012, you know? Am I going to switch to go for No, probably not. Not enough for farms then. Have a question for me, fire away. Go for it. Holly, come and lie down, darling. Only just got settled. <laughs> He's up again. Yeah, yeah, you not, no? Funny enough, I haven't actually seen seen much of you to be fair. You're not in there anymore, no? Uh, Dad's doing good, Mandy, yeah, he's doing all right. Uh, firefight, I got that thing sorted. Yeah, I got the, uh, well, the one that I was going to get sold, so I paid a little bit more and I got one from eBay, so... Ah, uh, okay. She's not feeling it. it. It gets like that. I mean, we were lucky because we started that war with the greens and uh, although there was definitely some toxicity in it, we're just not really toxic anymore. So we just have, it's just it's fun really. Ah, she's doing good, KW. Yeah, she's doing really good.
Uh, I haven't played Combat 7. My dad might know what that is. My dad's a War Thunder. A War Thunder man. So... Yeah, Dad's a big War Thunder guy. Yeah, Murray, it's uh, it's definitely not like it used to be. <laughs> oh, I'll fail you on that one. Yeah. Wasn't keen on, but you're enjoying it. It's not Project Nine, is it? By any chance? Oh, okay. Ah, I just... I'm definitely not going down the route of looking for things anymore, that's for sure. I'll be staying where I am and that'll be me. I'll If I don't enjoy it, I'll fly out. If I do enjoy it, I'll fly in. But yeah, sick of, sick of looking now. You alright, Dad? How you doing? He was out in the thunder and lightning earlier. It thundered and lightened again, you know, just about half an hour ago. Yeah. Uh, notice you've got more to gear now. I've got to do a review, yeah, that's what I got it for. I can't do a review when I haven't used it. This is only like the third time using it, so... Oh, you are dead? Uh, yeah. Not a massive fan. It... It feels a bit... Uh, had like uh, it feels made up like I don't know how to explain it but like you see all this all these you just don't have a very good feel like farming in them I know no I know he has it runs well that's for sure graphically beautiful I think I'm just over the whole farm thing, to be honest. Yeah, I just struggle to get in the farm sim now. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but uh, even with uh, even with that sort of stuff, we try and grind different things. Whereas with this, I, I like the animal point. I like looking after me animals, and because I've changed maps so many times over the years, you end up never having animals, and you end up never having anything, and you're just constantly starting again all the time. Yeah. I know that's what put you off. No. Yeah. I mean this this, this wheel rim if I if I build a trucking one uh, the wheel rim, this will be my farm sim wheel rim for sure. Uh, the joysticks are just perfect. So, because look, I can get out the, get out the tractor. I can walk, run, just on the wheel. 
yeah, I mean, I don't need to because I've got the farm sim, but yeah, you could. But yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I can walk around and. Yeah, it's awesome. But it's the same as, like, you know, when you're driving. It's the same thing, like, I've got all the view controls and everything set up. So I can look around and just do everything on the wheel. Which is awesome, you know? Uh, Bryn, I'm, I'm, well, I'm actually on Bryn's farm. Uh, I was going to go in my farm this morning because I've got all the animals, you see. So that's where I was going to go, but uh, Bryn's got the cart farm up, so I thought, oh, I'll jump in here and have a look. Mm. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. I know, I saw, you should have seen me in hell. They look like wet fish. And she's been, we've been out, we had a good walk and came back and she was in the bed until she heard you move. She was absolutely fast off. What's she doing? I know she does. Hello from Brazil, how are you doing? What else have I missed? Oh yeah, KW, yeah, I will be doing a review. Uh, I mean, if you've got any questions on the stuff or you want to see anything, just just ask. I'll show you anything I can. It's nice being able to have the centre spring on farm sim, I must say. Well, the motor, you can just do whatever you want with it. So it's, it's not, it's not centre spring by the game, it's by the actual wheel. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I've got centre spring on me Fnatic, but I had to uninstall the drivers every time. So, with the Fnatic, if you take the drivers out and leave it as just a, a USB axis, you get the centre spring. But having to uninstall your drivers every time you want centre spring seems a bit stupid. But it's the same as the Fnatic issue they had, uh, Fnatic had with uh, Forza, and they blamed it on Forza, and it was a driver issue. Uh, that's the same with the centre spring thing. Plus, Master Centre Spring works through their software, Moses works through theirs, uh, Logitech Centre Spring works through theirs. There's only Fnatic that doesn't. Uh, just hoping it's worth the money and would be a lasting upgrade or oh, yes the only th the only thing as I say I can give you some advice from my personal experience is the R5 bundle is very good but the I haven't got the cheaper steam wheel it would be nice to try but this steam wheel is on par or not better than my Fnatic steam wheels, which are double the cost. But the only thing I would say, whatever motor you go for, I would personally don't go anything less than this particular wheel. It's got everything you would ever need and more. Whereas the cheaper wheel that they do is fantastic for the price, £129, very cheap for a wheel. But you will probably want to then upgrade it eventually. So although it's a good wheel, I would highly recommend this one. Glenn Jones on the old uh, farm sim. I'd be weird to get some names like that back in the server. That'd be quite good. 
if you are going to join this server, as I say, the rules and all the info you need are on the Discord, on our Discord, but uh, this server isn't run by me. Uh, I don't have a clue. I have no idea what mods are in it. I have no idea. All I know is he's wanting to do it realistically, so it'd be small equipment. You know, but again, I can't really... It's, everyone's welcome, but with two tractors, I, I don't know how long it'll take them to get up to the point where they can have multiple people in. So, it shouldn't take them too long, because they're definitely grafters. Yo, Sim Racing, are uh, you going to do some trucking later, or is it a farming day? I don't know. Uh, obviously, I have the dog for the day uh, and the night time, so... Uh, I'm still in two minds whether I just start Twitch streaming more, uh, where I can just leave the stream on and no one seems to care. Uh, or if I just do that on, on, on here, I don't know, but... Yeah, I don't know. I definitely want to stream more. More regular, that's for sure. Hey, what the GoPro is looking all right today. I've got a GoPro 10 on my Facebook Marketplace. Uh, looking. Me and my dad have little like things that we look for generally. Not like actively look, but we keep a little beady eye out. So the last two things I've been looking for was go XLR in a chair which I've got now so yeah it's the only way I'm going to be able to stream a little bit more regular is if I just leave it on while I'm out with a popper uh, I don't know we'll see Did you say there was some seed at the farm or something that I can pick up, is there? Yeah, I'm going to bring some over to you. Fantastic. Yeah, the voice chat in farm seems terribly quiet, isn't it? This tractor's bollocked as well, so... Completely broke. That's why we're struggling. Dad, did you see uh, I did get your milk in. Oh no, you're fine. What was that, sorry, Bryn? Do you need um, solid furs? Yeah. yeah, I need both. You must have done, mate. She's completely dead. There's nothing left. But yeah, answering your question on the upgrade, it, it, it's definitely where I would go. If you're coming... If you're changing from like a, a Logitech wheel or a Thrustmaster wheel, uh, something the R5 uh, wheelbase or the R9, e either one's an, a huge upgrade for you. Uh, but your wheel rims, if you go down the Moser route, same as Fnatic, same as Thrustmaster, always try and buy rims that are going to last you because you can change your wheelbase, like, like a graphics card, isn't it? You don't change your computer every time. Whereas the wheelbase, you can change your wheelbase, but your wheel rims, you, I would make sure you get something decent, and then you can you can quick release it onto whatever you want then. Yeah, it's got 15.2 hours on this bad boy. 
I don't know what the boys are doing about repairs and things, so I'll just, uh, I'm not going to get involved in that front. I wonder if uh, if it's all farms and mods he's put in or if he's put the 69. Yeah, my favourite tractor. Gorgeous. 6920S, I think it is. No, oh, cheers for the sub, Rob. Appreciate you. How are we chilling? You want me to fold up for this, or what? What's the matter? I know that you were there, but I spent like two and a half hours getting you sorted. It seems good. Yeah, I don't, I don't have an issue with it. Can get your ball. Yeah, you might have to fold it. I can't get anywhere clear to you. Side on, you got it done. It's uh, side on to load it, boss. Just comes like you come as close to my tractor. Yeah, so as close to the tow hitch as you can, and then straight on sideways. We'll be able to get it. I had to explain what I meant, like, but he's got it, he's got it. But yeah, enjoying the court farms, uh, input delay, uh, what do you mean? Are you on about, like, the steam wheel input delay, is that what you're talking about? Are you talking about this? This delay. I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. A huge delay. It's actually uh Oh it's it's a massive delay. But it's funny because if you look it's so bad. But it's only on Farmson. I don't know if I've just got the, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm just waiting for C now. Uh, for, for, I'm waiting for it. But yeah, I don't know why it's so bad on farm sim. No idea. Not, it's not like this on Euro Truck or... And it's funny because if you go slow, it's fine. 
But as soon as you go quick, you notice it massively. Change your dead zones. I'll be back, is it? Uh, should be, mate. Yeah, it's, it's at the front, isn't it? There you go. I know, I don't know. What's the matter? I know, but you're awake now, aren't you? I'm not gonna. May as well just knock the stream off. Captain Mega. Uh, yeah, I haven't got the dead zones on, mate. I'm not that stupid. Come on. I've been playing this for over 10 years. Like, I've been playing this before we had wheel support. Just, uh, it, on single player, it's nowhere near as bad, but on the multiplayer, it's, it's, it's bad. So, uh, I don't know why. Have you got a lot of, like, uh, you know when you're in the cab and you turn your steam wheel, like, quick, does it match up exactly with the in-cab steam wheel? Uh, to be honest, I've never noticed. Mine does on single player, but doesn't on here. It's fine if I turn it slow, but if I go quick with it, the delay is huge. It might be like a millisecond out, isn't it? But oh yeah, I'm like 28 milliseconds. <laughs> but yeah. Now, yeah, cheers, man. Get your ball. Fetch it. Fetch your ball. Get it. Fetch it, then. Fetch it. Ugh. But yeah, as you can see, there's no there's no dead zone at all. You can see the wheel moving. There's no dead zone. I turned that straight off. You see it? Get you balling? You see it? Yeah, it's just farm sim as well. It is bad. Yeah, single player. I jump on the server. Yeah, it's the mad delay. My ping's very high in the server though. Ow! No you don't! No! Jesus! No! Go away! Fighting people, dickhead. I know it was just a nibble, and it was an attention nibble, I get it, but you can't go around nibbling people's ball sacks. Not acceptable. It's bad on a controller on the multiplayer too, yeah, yeah. I mean, my ping keeps going up to like 250, so it's... I know it's more server related, but... This fab's in multiplayer, mate, it's... This is what it is. Right, the other server that I have for myself, uh, the one that we run is great uh, but again I think that server is like 40 quid a month it's ridiculous it's quite stable like but it yeah it's not, it's not cheap what's this is that the best toy in the world is it you got about 40,000 toys there
nice to be back on the farm now with the boys so we'll try and get a little bit more the good thing is the farm's run by somebody else so I can just come in do some work and dip so as long as I know what I'm doing I'm quite happy uh, I have no idea what the intentions are or what animals they want to go for or anything like that Here. Yeah, what's up, mate? Let me grab some more ferts and seed from the shop. Perfect. It's a good job I didn't get this repaired because, uh, Wouldn't have been able to afford it. Hopefully they improve the delay on MP in the next gen. Yeah, I mean, farm sim, I don't think they will. Farm sim's not really kept up to date with uh, problems like that much at all, like, to be honest. That's good, Mandy. Get you off the pod and back into the game. Excellent. I don't know where my dog's gone. Nadine, how we doing, man? All good, how are you? Tell you what, the wheel was easy to set up on farm sim, though. It's awesome. Dead simple. Rob, I know I was on trucking a bit last night, so how are you? You all good? Might jump on the trucking tonight, to be honest, we'll see. Probably going to start something new on the trucking, though. I might start a new profile, start me way, work my way up, I think. Also, I'll tell you what I do want to get back into, though. I want to get back into the ATS a little bit as well. I'd love to get back... Uh, I don't know how, how hard the ATS is to get set back up, but... I wouldn't mind a, a day out with a few of the boys in the old uh, Big Daddy or something. Take a few of the boys over there and go for a bit of a truck. 
Denny's in the server. Don't forget, we do have multiple game servers, so get yourself in the Discord. It is more active nowadays. Uh, and don't forget, the more active you guys are, the more active the, lot, the rest of us are as well. So, Are you thinking about a new profit? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I don't know whether to wait. Uh, yeah, I don't know whether to wait and go down the route of... Like wait until a new update comes out and then uh, and then start that way. Yo, Brent. Yes, mate. Uh, is it push to talk only in here, or are you, are you allowing anything? Uh, it should be push. Hey Denny, nice to have you in the server, but can you please put your voice chat on push to talk please? It's just I know what it's like, like if people come in and use voice activation they're gonna just it's gonna be a nightmare. Can you hear him Brin or no? Yeah I can. I can't hear him. Got my voice chat on 100% as well, but my voice chat's quiet. Hey, Danny, you need to go and push the phone. What's, uh, what's the plan next, then? Yeah, what are you fancying getting done next? Well, we've got some uh, field steel. Field steel work to cut and bale and. Oh, we'll do that then. Perfect. I'll just get this finished. Yeah, get. Yeah, get that and. Uh, to sell them. To Have you got much of a loan on at the moment, have you? Uh, I think I've only got five grand left to pay so we can even borrow more. going to need tractors is what he's going to need. I just can't hear Bryn. I just... I don't know if it's me or what, mate. I've got my game sound turned right down. Voice chat's turned right up. Must be me.
got it's really off putting the reverse because he's got that real head motion thing in. So like you, your back window's not tented, so it's like it's gonna take me a little bit of getting used to. Where did they have it? Did they have it? I don't know where they had it, to be honest. I think they had it over here. Yeah, I put things back where I found it, like, but I think this is where they had it. I mean, it's actually a shit place. Combine come out of here as well, does it? Get in here if we can get it in. Lovely. What do you want me doing? You want me mourn or roar or what? Today. It's the easiest. As I say, there's a there's a rear mower uh, at the shop. I'm just going to go and pick that up now once we've got these um, seeds off. Uh, I'll mow them. It's hard because I don't know what needs doing. I don't really have a clue what fields and I have no idea because I've not been involved in it. So I generally. Need to just play and just get used to the map and we'll get used to it. Funny looking map though, that's for sure. Alright, tell you what, while he's busy I'm gonna go and have a smoke because I'll make sure the dog's alright and I don't know I have no idea how to get to the cops. Yeah.
Uh, what's the crack, bro? Uh, the mower's just to the right of you. Um, just gonna pick up some more stuff. Uh, there's a there's a, a, a sale on for two tractors. Um, case one for about eighty thousand, and I think a Fent one for about forty thousand. Oh, John D is one. I get one to take a loan out and t get one of them, just so we've got three tractors on the go. Yeah, I mean, for extra people, obviously, it'll help. What, uh, what field am I cutting? Yeah, yeah. Do you know which field I'm cutting, is it? 54. 54, I think, is the grass one. How do I get there, though, is the question. On this way, chat. Your wheel looks amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah, let us know if you can hear me breathing in that too much, because I'm also we're also on a new microphone as well, and I have no idea what I'm doing with it. So, ah, 54 it is. Lovely. Not got, she's not got much power, boys. Still looking for a cheap wheel. I mean, it, it depends. It all depends what you mean by cheap. Like, if you really are looking for like a cheap, cheap starting wheel, you can't go wrong with uh, second hand. So, what's on? Uh, that's happening, John. Yeah, we're just on the old. Uh, on the farm, obviously Bryn built a, an Armstrong farm server, so we're just trying to, we're just learning on what the, what the crack is. Don't know if it's server side, the whole engine start thing, or that, that gets annoying. That might be a me thing. Hey up, Mr. Cam, how are we doing? Finally got the same mic as you, and uh, I'm loving it. Uh, apart from the ear cups, which I knew I knew about anyway, but yeah, really good. I, I've just got it on a on an old uh, interface at the moment, so I'm waiting for me new Go XLR to come. But once the Go XLR comes, then I'll be uh, all sorted on the rig for. Uh, sound and things, so yeah, it's nice, really good. Struggling a little bit where to put the mic uh, because I think it's picking up me breathing a little bit, but but yeah, definitely, definitely one of the most uncomfortable headsets I've ever worn in my life as standard. Yes, mic's amazing but I actually had some made. So I got some I got some from a company that made some for my Corsair ones which are gorgeous. Memory foam uh, velvet in inlined and then uh, fabric the cooling pads uh, so I had I bought them and then I contacted them to see if they would make some for these and they have done so they are about 38 pounds so they're, they're a little bit on the on the steep side but I can't wait for them to come because these are uncomfortable and I'm, a, I'm like I've worn headphones for years but I was very lucky because 
the first ever decent headset I bought was the A50s and they're just comfortable like I could wear them for 12 hour races and just, just have no issues like so. but yeah my me, me little uh, preamp just doesn't have enough power <laughs> he's struggling I've got a go XLR to go in here so That'll be awesome. How are you keeping Dave anyway? You all good? You've been helping my Uncle Sean a lot. So my Uncle Sean got back into sim racing about a year ago. Uh, and he's been watching you for your racecraft. Did he? I've been watching this guy called Dave Cab. I said, oh Dave's, Dave's awesome, his stuff's great. So, Tell you what, Dave. I don't. I know you. You've been doing like reviews and that, and I love your reviews because you're, you're very honest, and you also take into account people's price points. But I've got to say, with this stuff, I honestly, I love it, and it also disappoints me. So, although I love the Moza stuff. It disappoints me how much I spent on Fnatic when the, the quality is just not, not there. Like The build quality on this stuff for the physical cost. And I do understand that obviously some of the Fnatic stuff has a little bit more detail in and, and whatnot, but the physical build quality difference for the price is just insane. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, I, people think you get paid. I mean, I've never been paid by a sponsor yet. I've never, ever, ever been paid by a sponsor. And one of the cool things about the Moser stuff is I, I own nine Fnatic wheels, all Cup Sport. I own two Porsche wheels, BMW wheel. I, I'm a full Fnatic fanboy. I've got two Fnatic shifters. I've got the inverted Fnatic pedals, the non-inverted Fnatic pedals, Fnatic handbrake. So I'm a Fnatic fanboy, but you could not pay me to go back to Fnatic now. Not for the quality point. If I showed you some of my stuff and the wear on it, I mean, the, the Fnatic hub is just embarrassing for the money. £350 and my hub is destroyed. Oh, come and lie down, darling. I, honestly obviously Fnatic have got a big quick release problem always have done a lot of slop in the quick release it's always been the same this thing's the quick release is very good but it's the for me how they can make this like all of this how they can make all of that for £245 I, I, I honestly how are they making money on it? I don't know. I know there's better wheels out there, and I, I respect and understand that. But for £245, I honestly don't understand. And the handbrake, 95 quid. Again, there's better stuff out there, but it's three times the cost. And the stuff feels amazing. And the sheer quality for money. I just, yeah. And again, there might be a little bit more detail in a particular base, but I'm got to say I would take quality over detail when you're talking about as close as detail as what we're talking about. I mean, in my opinion with Moza, I, I must say, the f like... The Fnatic Club Sport wheel rims and the Fnatic Hub at 350 quid, I, I wouldn't touch it. I, I just, I wouldn't touch it. I'd go Moza. Uh, and Thrustmaster, from a plastic point of view, my uncle's got the Thrustmaster uh, F1 wheel, the one with the LCD in. Lovely, nice, carbon, beautiful. 
but again, it's all plastic. Uh, he's got the 700 pound DD wheel from Dustmaster. Again, all plastic. So I've got to say, Logitech and Dustmaster don't really have a place in my heart at all. And I was a big fan of telling people to buy a Thrustmaster wheel. First thing I would say, you can't afford for Nike, buy a Thrustmaster wheel. Great value for keeping money, but after using this shit, I, 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 I can't, I just, I can't, I, I would be lying. Unless you got something used, I am a big, I am a big second hand buyer. Uh, <coughs> so, I'm a big fan of second hand equipment. So there is some amazing deals out there used, definitely. So, that's a whole different conversation. But I must say, if someone gave me a Fanatic DD2 tomorrow with one of the big Fanatic wheels, yes, I would swap them, but I would then sell it and go buy something like this again. <laughs> My only big change I'll need to do is I'll still need to change my pedals. But I, I am really intrigued on the CSP pedal, uh, the C, is it CS, C, CRP pedals. I'm, I'm definitely intrigued to see what the quality of their like. Don't get me wrong, the Hughes and Bell Ultimates that my dad has are fantastic, but I don't need to be spending a thousand pounds on pedals for what for what I do. It's different for Mr. Dave and that because he's a sim racing regular and all that, but I do a good amount of drifting, I do a small amount of racing, and then primarily I'm a sim simulator driver, so. But I'll tell you one thing, and I, I will push this to any of the sim fans out there. If you're a truck fan and you're a big uh, hair shifter person, this thing. This thing has a huge place in my heart. It's utterly insane. I mean, the sheer clunk is just, and that's got an extension on, so this has got a huge extension on, but the clunk in the gear is just mental. Uh, and again, 140 quid, mad. And the Fanatic gearbox, beautiful, it is. £200 plus £50 import tax plus shipping. So you, uh, and if you want it USB, it's another €60. Euro. So you're looking at £340 to your door, and I'm sorry, but it just isn't £200 better than this. It just isn't. The sequential fact is awesome. I don't know if Dave Cam uses a sequential. That's something I don't know. But one thing I learned when I was sim racing an awful lot uh, back when I was I racing along, biggest thing I learned: if you're a, if you're a sequential user, buy a separate sequential, put it in a place where you'll use it. Because good, the, but the downside to a hair shifter that also does sequential is it's stuck wherever you'll put your hair shifter, and your sequential's too far over. It's just not comfortable. Uh, whereas your sequential, you want as close to your off grip as possible. But you want it around about here, so it's like bang, bang, back, bang, bang, back. So having a bolt on sequential is your best bet. So if you are a sequential lover, just buy a separate sequential. Hey, it is, Mark, it is, it's awesome, dude. But well, if we do have any sim racing fans in the channel, go and check out Mr. Dave at Cam. Very good, very serious, he's a lot more serious than I am. He also got a better dog than me. I think he's actually listened to him. Ollie! Hey, you're at your pleb. Question, you don't mind me asking which is better in your opinion, is that a car to competition or I race? Oof. I'm getting all the can can Dave answer that question for me? Uh well, seeing as though it's an opinion asked question, I don't mind answering it. Personally 
it, it's very difficult. Graphic-wise, in ACC, is just on another level uh, currently. Uh, but it depends what you want. If you want like a racing career, uh, and you want regular online racing, and you want to take it seriously, uh, it's got to be I racing. Uh, but if you're just somebody who chills and enjoys life, I'm I'm a big race room and I'm a big uh, on the Blitzer 2 fan. I love them both. Uh, ACC, I'm kind of I've never really got into it heavily. There's nothing wrong with it, obviously, but I've have struggled to get into it if I'm honest. You have all the setup. Yep, you just got to try, try before you buy. I mean, ACC is a, a game you buy physically. So at the end of the day, I'd just buy it and try it. I've got so many games, uh, I would just buy it and have a go. You know. Hey, Dragos, how are you doing? Appreciate you, dude. I'm good, man. I'm big chilling, mate. Having a chill Saturday going to farm for a bit, I've got the dog so we'll keep an eye on her, see how she does and then go and walk her, tire her out tonight and then uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of ACC personally, it doesn't run VR very well Project Cars does yeah, I mean ACC's VR is awesome, you just need the computer to push it so Holly, settle down. Yeah, I'm think I'm thinking of trucking. Uh, I'm thinking of trucking tonight. Uh, so I'll do a I'll do an hour or two of farming. I just wanted to get back on farming, and obviously I'm still in the middle of making sure. Uh, everything's easy to set up and everything works, but oh, it's so good. Uh, it really is. And th this will be me trucking wheel because being able to walk in that with the truck uh, with the farming's awesome. Uh, I haven't got all the buttons set up yet, but being able to keep my hands on the wheel and get out the tractor and walk around and look around and yeah, it's awesome. Well happy. Half Factor Two is brilliant in VR. Yeah, Half Actor 2 is another good one. Uh, oh, there's some there's some awesome games out there. It purely just depends what you want to play. Uh, I think as an active, avid gamer, we all get bored. Uh, like, I'll be lying to say we don't. We all do get bored at some point. So. Yeah, I think Dave comes away now, but I was going to ask him what, what he plays uh, when he's not high racing. Our, our general curiosity. Because the feel on the factor uh, on the Autumn of Blitzer 2, man, I absolutely love it. But it's such a personal thing. on the run up is he I think he is
Got that wrong, boys. Did I miss any? Oh, we saved it. Struggling on power, boys. Are we down to seven kilometers an hour? I need to get this thing repaired, man. Seriously. Yeah, this tractor's in dire need of a repair, like. Yeah, I think that was the one I bought on sale. So it was, uh, yeah, it probably came with a lot of hours and a lot of damage on it. Well, there's nothing left on it. Like, it's completely out. Hey, Ryan. Oh, well, good. Uh, about 20 minutes in me, and then I've got to get ready for night shift. So what do you want me to do when we're away when you're away? Obviously I'll be a list and we sell it, but Yeah yeah, well you're the boss, so you got I'll... the uh, you got the full controls. Oh okay. Be happy to just crack on make some money and just do whatever we normally do. Yeah yeah, absolutely. You've got, you've got the passwords and stuff, so but I'll Ever? If you can't remember him, I'll, I'll... Oh, I'm lost, I'm man. I, 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 oh. Right, okay. No, it's fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you it. Yeah, send you if you it. don't mind, just pin it in our yeah, uh, yeah, DMs yeah. or something because I, I just am useless. I'm so lost That's on. Fine, mate. I'll, I'll, I'll ping, you the, uh, ping you the password and then, yeah, it's all good, buddy. Excellent. I'm just the land manager. That's all I am. Uh, Hope you're loving the stuff, uh, I see. Uh, I'm a big fan myself, but yet to try the handbrake. Shifters, absolutely, if you're a shifter user, shifters absolutely necessary. If you've got a Fanatic shifter, a Thrustmaster shifter, or a Logitech, get them sold by the shifter. If you like hair pattern shifter. Absolutely fantastic. O utterly brilliant. Handbrake again, I've used it on ACC, uh, sorry, AC. The build quality is just insane. The feel's really good. I've got the harder spring in, it feels I mean, it just feels like you're pulling it, pulling to get a handbrake, you know. Uh, and again, 95 quid, USB and wheel compatible. Just madness, like. They're absolutely brilliant, but yeah, the, the actual gear is just absolutely so happy with it. Again, it's not a cube wheel, but it's just not even in the same ballpark of price, like. Uh, for what I do, the, the R9 is perfect. Uh, probably what will put me dad on there as well, I think. So. Yeah, and what did you go for? Did you go for the R9 with this wheel rim, did you?
same as you, uh, I'm still on the Fnatic, yeah, so, like, obviously, the again, the, the SRP pedals, for the physical cost, are awesome, but if you're on V3s or anything V3 and up, the SRPs don't really compete with the V3s at all, but again, for the sheer cost, and for someone who's trucking and farming a lot, probably wouldn't need any more than the SRP pedals, if I'm honest. Uh, but if you're already a V3 owner and user, you're not going to go to the SRPs, but I am generally interested in the CRPs, just out of curiosity, just what, what can you get for your money, really? I mean, they, they look fantastic. I'm a big look fan, though. I, I like stuff to look nice. Uh, I do miss my button boxes. Tim racing hardware button boxes. I do, I do miss them, I must say. But uh, I am in the works of getting them sorted. Uh, so we'll see. Right, dog's asleep, so what we'll probably do is we'll crack on now until she wakes up and then that'll be my afternoon stream done, I think. So... But, nice to be back on the farm chat, I must say. Chat's very quiet today, though. I'm happy to be back. He's all happy with the, uh, the, the look and everything, everything okay? Sound quality's okay. Is the game sound loud enough? You have the CSL, Lord Cell, at the more will change them at some point. Yeah, I mean, I say I'm not really a big fan of any of the CL stuff. See you later, Mandy, you take care, man. Enjoy X Hamster, or gaming, or whatever it is you do. Yeah, I was never a huge fan. I really feel like in my opinion, I mean, I think the CSL wheelbase has a, a good place in the world, uh, but the CSL wheel rims, never a fan of. Uh, had a lot of breakages, just just not great, to be honest. So. But yeah, I, I, I come from when CSL didn't exist really. Uh, obviously you had the Club Sport range and you had the Porsche, the, the, the GT2 RS wheel. So, and then they went from there to the, the version one Club Sport. And yeah, I really feel like the CSL, just the, the quality just didn't line up well, in my opinion. So, but the V3 pedals, are, they are very good. We've got import tax now, so it's made for that very expensive. Got them second hand at a good price. Uh, I like them, don't really have a lot to compare them to, yeah. Before uh, that, CSL pedals are better, yeah. So, question, what are you going to replace your CSL pedals with? I know you said you're going to go Moser, but are you going to go CRPs or SRPs? Hey, Hammer Mike, I'm good. How are you, man? Miss watching your streams? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm streaming as much as I can at the moment. I'm trying to get trying to get at least one a day out, but trying to, you know, just get back to streaming a bit more regular. Uh, I'm definitely trying. Uh, I'm going to be pulling my rig apart soon so I can actually finalise putting it all together, but I'm waiting on a couple of products to come, and then uh, I'll be all this will come off. And we'll uh, we'll get all the rigs set up and then do a little review on the gear. But I can't really do an awful lot until this bloody hub turns up. To be honest, so I just keep waiting. That's good. Yeah, I mean I've not spoke to him today, but he's alright. He'll be off to me grand soon anyway. I think.
Yeah, I mean, the, the CRP pedals would be a good upgrade for you. Uh, and it would be definitely a, a good upgrade. I mean, wait, wait until I get mine. Uh, once I sell my Fanatics and go for them. Yeah, wait until I've got them and then you can you can see if they're any good. But, yeah, I wouldn't go SRPs because you've already got a reasonable set of pedals. That's the only reason, you know. Hiya Luca, how are you doing? What are we doing about bail loading and that? Are you happy uh, getting like one of those cheaper auto trailers or what? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I did see, I did see one. I think it was ninety grand on one of them, but that was like I think the fifteen, like the fifteen bale one. Um, yeah, I mean to be fair though, you make your back so quickly through the bale, and it's not really. Oh god, gotcha. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's I, fine. I, I have been doing. I think it's two. Is it two twenty or two forty bale size? That's right. I've been doing. I know some of the bale uh, loaders, um, they'll take different sizes as well. Yeah, I think so. Pick uh, that on. Uh, how much uh, does the setup cost uh, on electric per month, would you think? Oh, the physical setup? I, I have no idea. Uh, electric prices are ridiculous at the minute, so I don't, I don't know. How, I have no idea how much we spend on electric. It's a lot, but we've got two. More, most of the time, we have two full setups getting absolutely abused all day every day so because my dad's gaming as well you see so he has his own eye of mine on ah oh, he's got it he's got it Is that you done If it I is, so. could I steal that tractor off you? Yeah, you can. I'll take that off you now. I'll get this one repaired again. Yeah, I didn't know if I should repair it and that or not, you know. Either that will sell it. Uh, I mean, I think with the multiplayer aspect, definitely keep it until we can afford to replace it. Uh, I don't speak French. Uh, I don't see the point of going SRPs as it's not really an upgrade, no. Uh, just do like have all the same stuff. Same. I like having matching gear. I know. I do. I do. Uh, I know some people don't. Uh, I really, really do like having matching gear. Like.
He was in my stream uh, a while back. Thinking about going more I told him it was great. Take the plunge. Ben, I mean, be, be, Ben's... Yeah, he, he, I, don't, I don't think he's got Morsey yet. But the R9 for Ben's like $850, you see, so... It'll take him a little bit to get the cash up. Uh, Right, so I need to know on the bale size uh, what bale uh, we need to know what bale size we're going with. So if we do, I'm assuming this is square bales, I think. So takes up to a two forty. It's right, I'll catch you uh, sometime later. Um, so I've sent you the details of the admin pass. I have DM'd you. Yeah, perfect. You have a good night shift, mate. I mean, I'll probably be trucking tonight anyway, but if uh, if you need me to jump in through the day for anything, just let me know. Yeah, we'll do, buddy. Have a good shift. What made you go, go for it? Did you hear good things? A uh, couple of things, really. So... One, I knew I didn't want to go any further with the Fnatic uh, because really my next step, I've got, I have all matching Fnatic stuff, I have all the, the good stuff as well. But my next step was to go down the di di direct drive. Uh, I had a CSL DD, wasn't impressed with the build quality over my current V2.5, which is all aluminium and beautiful and it, yeah. So then obviously the quick release thing with the fanatics was starting to get on my tits. So the DD2 or 1, whichever one I looked at, was working out with postage, just postage and import tax at near £1,400 just for the wheelbase. Don't get me wrong, I do use my stuff a lot and I do get the use out of it, but it's a lot for a wheelbase that also has some issues. Uh, so obviously I went looking elsewhere. My uncle has the Thrustmaster direct drive. So I had a go at that. Good. I don't know if it's worth the money. It's a lot of money. Uh, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of cost. So I then went down the Moser route and obviously was looking and then I thought, I'll contact Moser, see if they'll uh, send us one out so I can at least have a go of it before I buy one. Uh, that was kind of my, my thought process. Uh, but, yeah, it's just... I just honestly, honestly, honestly can't get over the build quality for the money. It's just... If I'd have paid 3 three fifty for the wheel rim, I still would have been happy with it. Like, I st it's, it's that sort of money worth, you know? Hey, babe, how you doing? Why are you not playing FS23? Because it doesn't exist on PC. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, it's not a thing on the PC, so. Yeah. Not just that, it's literally like, how are they doing it for the cost? Like, that's my thing. So. Uh, Don't get me wrong, later down the line, if I want a bit more power in that, I might, I might go down the route of uh, of the R16 or something like that, but I just really like matching stuff. Uh, the shifter, 
no matter what wheel, even if I went down the sim cube, I'd keep the shifter, definitely. The shifter's insane, but I have no interest in changing. Uh, I mean, even the wheel rim has everything you would need it to have. The build quality's there. Being able to just walk around the farm on your wheel, you know? Even, like, I can run, I can walk, walk around, look around, you know? It's, it's awesome. Oh, did he change it? I think he might have done. Uh, Ryan, if I'm honest, I, I actually don't know. Uh, I've just been thrown in the deep end a little bit. Uh, this farm was built by Bryn. Uh, awesome, awesome farm. Uh, really enjoying it, but I have got access to the admin and stuff and that, so I can buy some gear and stuff but it's a brand new farm so no, I don't really know what they need to do and to be quite honest I actually don't so yeah you can collect bales let me uh so oh no they need wrapping you need to wrap them bales need wrapping do we have a wrapper I think we do yeah you need to wrap the bales that's what we're doing wrap them Uh, where else are we? Hammer Mike, uh, how are you doing with your health issues? Great. Uh, I don't really know how to answer that. Yeah, fine. You know, spot on. Like a real grafter, don't have a clue. I, I really don't, babe. Like, I'm fully lost. I, I've kind of been thrown in at the deep end. Very happy to be here, and the farm's great. Wheels all set up now, and yeah, it's great. Apart from my ears literally bleeding. Like, my ears are rough. Just jumping in as get ready for work. Uh, it will be contracts need doing for more money. Oh, we can do contracts. I forgot about contracts. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. I do need to use my white ones, yeah. I need to go back to my white ones. But the bills do need wrapping, so he can wrap. Uh, or I can wrap, whatever. Uh, when I used to watch you have issues while streaming. But uh, what do you mean? Sorry. Is that what he's asking? Yeah, I still have seizures, yeah. Absolutely, part of Mark. I was getting confused what he's asking really. I'd rather people just come out and ask. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, what actually happened is I got my brain took out, I got a new one stuck in and now everything's fine. Don't really bother me that much now to be honest. I'm 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 kind of over it. It's kinda of made me the person I am now, so I suppose. But it has been like what, twelve years, eleven years, so I suppose if you don't get used to it in that time. Not used to it but I learned to live with it. I mean, having the dog's been mental like that's just incredible, like, apart from when you're getting battered awake, you know. No, so I don't have epilepsy, so they're uncontrollable. I still have them regularly, uh, and yes, they still hurt. I, I don't know what you want from me. No, nothing's really changed. So... What's happening, uh, Mr. Bob? We all good? Yeah, 
best. It's looking like two, probably, I could probably push three, depending on Doggo. But yeah, I'll have to go back to Whitehead for it until my ear cups turn up, I think. I'll stick them on charge for tonight. I've been streaming for months. Mike's Mike's going on like I've, this is my first stream in ages. I've been streaming for oh for, for a good while. Been back regular for a couple of months, maybe is it two, three months, five, four months. Yeah, I've been streaming regular though. Yeah, yeah, I did I did a lot of test streaming on Twitch first, yeah. It is three points of the fine. It's a good job it's not real, isn't it? Can't see dog. There or not? I think she's there. Hi right, James, how we doing? Hope you're well doing. <laughs> What's he done now? Get him a waterproof onesie and get him outside. to get him in a rig sooner rather than later is the problem. Yeah, I don't know what it is with the sensitivity or what, but it just feels dead laggy farm sim. I think it's a sensitivity thing or what? Feels laggy as hell. Steven doesn't feel connected. Same for you, yeah. Is it a server thing or?
No, it's not nice, I'm not gonna lie. Go and have a nosy. Just doesn't feel like it feels so strange. Oh, frame rate wise, I'm fine. Uh, yeah, fr fr my frame and that's fine, but my wheel. Oh, your so that'll smooth out. Don't worry about that. Uh, that's uh, it's a cash thing. So the more you play, the smoother it'll get. I know it's not good, but yeah, the more you play, the smoother it'll get. But I'm talking about. Like in me wheel, it just it feels feels terrible. What does this do? Where's nine hundred degrees? Nine hundred there. That's technically nine hundred. I'm gonna go up a little bit. It really does. Yeah, I mean, I'm not on that big a computer, but I'm on a 3090. Uh, but I don't know what resolution you're on. I mean, I'm hoping you're on 4K with a 4090. You should be. Unless you're on trip, you could be on triple two Ks. Still be a good for it. Be still be good, but yeah, the cash things are uh, got to keep running around the map and just keep driving. Four K. You on four K single layer or you on like a big screen or what? You, what you on? Just curious, to be fair. Still just is it? The, it must be the server then. It just feels laggy as hell in the, in the steering. The hell? Oh, I broke it, boys. Yeah, I've definitely broke it. I need to go and turn that back down. Got four monitors, but my main Samsung Odyssey 32. Oh, okay, 240 hertz on 4K. Wonder if you ever get 240 FPS on 4K maxed out. Be interesting. That's a small monitor that though, there's no way. If I had the hardware you've got, straight down the 43, 48 route, definitely. This looks so good on a big screen, man. Go and treat yourself to a 48 inch OLED from Gigabyte. Getting 180. Cool. Do you use uh, do you use like uh, DLSS and things here, or do you not bother? 180 is good. I'm locked at 60, so I'm quite happy at 60. If I was on my desk, I'd be locked at 144. But the 240 hertz monitor is brutal. Oh, it won't be, but I I'm a size queen. 
You use DLSSS? No, get it off, man. It's shit. Get it turned off. It's terrible. Then tell me what your frame rate's like. <laughs> I hate DLSS, man. You bail on that and you end up with like a ghost bail behind it. It's just it's shit. Oh, I hate DLSS. It's terrible. Uh, it's whack. It's definitely getting better, there's no doubt, but... Uh, it's whack. Not a fan. But unfortunately, the new cards to look amazing, they, they need... They need DLSS, so... Oh, mate, if you're happy, leave it alone. Like, And the thing is, you're on a small screen, so you're not going to notice anywhere near as much as like we will. But like even my desk, like my desk I'm running a 43, that's a monitor, that's a gigabyte 43, uh, 144 hertz 4K, and just uh, everything being bigger. What people don't realise, right, with big screen, like with uh, smaller screens, is what people don't realise is, you can have a 27 inch screen, right? And you can have it absolutely maxed out, right? So all the best settings. It's too small to notice. But like, if you look at like how big my mirror is compared to my hand, obviously everything's big. So it, when you blow it up in 4K, obviously it's still sharp, but all your items are massive. But like when I play, on the desk and I play Call of Duty and that. The scope is like this. It's it's awesome, man. It's so good. So good. Uh, no, we don't have crossplay turned on. Uh, no. PC Master Race only here. To be fair, it doesn't bother me, but we, we use mods that aren't uh, console compatible, so it's nothing against console players. You do encoding for a living, uh, can't be too big. Ah, okay, okay, I've got you. Why though? Like, what's the... I don't understand. Because obviously, like, with a 43, you can split it in half. Yeah, you know. Or a 48, you end up with two 34s, basically. I get what you mean, but then you, if you've got four monitors anyway, you could have one for gaming, and then you could have one for work. Oh man, I need to go and fix my sen sensitivity. I, I definitely did a bad thing. Definitely. Yeah, to be fair, you're one of the first people I've actually found who liked DLSS. Oh. It's either that or you've never played without it. Ah, you're buying a house soon, I've got you. I mean, wait, when you say, so what, what upgrade are you thinking then? Are you thinking, are you going to go down the ultra-wide route, are you, or what's your, what's your kind of thought? I love, I love a good PC chat, like, I, I love having chats about upgrading. Even if it's not me upgrading, talks it. Like, I, just, I get so happy for people. Hi, Bob. So I'm thinking I uh, go ultra wide or not. So the problem you've got is if you go like a 34 ultra wide or you go like a 43 or a 49 inch 
super wide. The problem you've got is it's smaller in height than your 32. So a 49 inch ultra wide is 227 stitched together. So it's always 27 height. The problem with that is all your shit's still small. So yeah, you can see extra shit. Great. But your stuff's still small. Whereas, as I say, when you go 16 by 9 and you go 32 inch monitor, so 27, 32, and you go 43. So this is a 43 inch panel. So everything becomes bigger. Like my tractor now is big. Like when you look at like the size of my hand compared to the tractor, everything's big. And all that detail that you crank, yes, you can't see the sides. I get it. You can't see a bit of extra stuff. I get that. But it's the sheer bigness of everything. So when you play a Call of Duty and you've got your Call of Duty guy, he's as big as your hand. All his face and that, you can see all his details and his weapons and all this stuff that you've got turned up on your 4090 currently. Unless you sit with it pinned against your eye, you can't see it. This is the problem. And 32 inch at 4K, it's it's good, but you know you you can get away with going a bit a little bit bigger. Uh, I just can't recommend like 16 by 9. Like if you want extra width, just go triples. Like <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, he has thoughts of monitors I'm not look it's my these are my personal opinions and I'm not trying to tell people what to buy you can you know officially buy whatever the hell you want like you know what I mean it doesn't bother me what you buy but like Bob for instance Bob's got a, you know a reasonable amount of pocket money to spend and he bought a 49 inch G9 ultra wide beautiful monitor he will not argue the fact that it's a stunning quality monitor I've got a 40, well, I had a 49 under my bed. I stuck it under my bed because we don't, we don't use it. We're both on big monitors now. Uh, so, one of them things really where it depends what you're doing with it, but it just baffles my head with people with 4090s and that cranking the games on 1440p on a 27-inch monitor. Or, you know what I mean? It's just a waste. Like, you can physically... It isn't big enough to see it. It takes a bit of getting used to, but you've also got the other option of moving it away from you. You know, so if you've got a normal desk set up, wall mount the 43, sit further away from it, if, if it really bothers you. But you won't. Like, you, you, you definitely won't. Right, how does one get to the shop? I think it's up here, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, £1,200 on a 32-inch. I mean, the Gigabyte Aorus Extreme 48-inch OLED is beautiful for under £1,000. Beautiful monitor, under £1,000. Yeah, you don't get 240 uh, hertz, but it depends how competitive you are. I'm happy at 60, I'm happy at 120. Really, for me, 120 FPS and, and 60, it suits me. Like, I can do either. Uh, 120 is far better than 60. Smooth as fuck. Gorgeous. Uh, 120 is my personal sweet spot. 165, 240. I don't have any use for that. And my issue is I'm a graphics hawk. Always will be. I just like graphics. I like things to look nice. You know, I mean, just take, take into account. Like, that's what the game actually looks like, right? That's the game fully cranked. That's what it looks like. Whatever you're seeing now is what the game looks like. But if you look at my monitors and how nice they look, uh, it makes everything look stunning. You know, I just like things to look nice, you know? 1440p, uh, no chance of getting rid of my monitor. I paid 800 for it, I think. Uh, I'd rather triple screen. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the problem with the 4090 is it really isn't really under a lot of stress at 2K. I noticed that with my 3090. So in farm sim, triple 1080p's, so 5760 by 1080p, I couldn't hold 60 frames. I couldn't hold 60. Physically could not hold 60 FPS. 
on medium or low settings, high settings was a no-go. I couldn't hold 60. However, triple 1440p, I can hold near about 110, 120. So maxed out as well. So it just shows you resolution can bottleneck you. 100 percent Guy could save fourteen hundred. Yeah. yeah, I mean you're you're lucky as well though, Bob, because you, you have the multiple you have the multiple setups and all that, you know. Uh, Bob's got a bit of everything. He's got like a normal setup. He's got a work setup. He's got a simulator setup, and then he's got obviously the pawn studio next to that. And he's very lucky to have all the different setups. And he's in the same boat as me, where if I upgrade something, it goes somewhere else. But normally, someone will upgrade something, and it goes, you know, that's it done. Uh, you've upgraded it, and it's out the house. And that's it. So, your bills is that old? Fourteen. And some money. That's it. That's it. Oh, it's a. We, we need to sell the bills anyway, so. Right. Uh, you have a 4090, uh, oh yeah, I got that. Yeah, so as I say, like, it just depends on uh, on your preference. I mean, Bob, uh, see, I try and advise people on their current situations, and I try and advise them on their current setups. Uh, Bob is a die-hard trucking fan, you know, he does a bit of racing, you know, he does a little bit of, you know, X-Hamster on one screen, Tim's on the other, you know, he's not a big, mainly just does shocking you know that's his go-to and i tried to help him on the fact that he's a trucker that's what he loves so that's why i said to him when i found when i found about how good this shifter is i'm like your main thing you're gonna notice is how good this is going by this so these are totally opinions yeah opinions that happen to be true <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows I'm a Mickey taker, don't worry. You're safe, man. You're all good. Hey Kyle, how are you doing? You run virtual machines, yeah. I mean, the main thing I'm hearing from you, Ryan, is one, you're not a man that likes change, that's fine. But two, one of them things that if if you work from home and you work on this stuff as much as what it seems like you do, then one, you're clearly not afraid to spend a penny or two and that that's fine. But if it's that important to keep what you've got for work and whatnot, then 
personally, you just have a game and set up and you work set up. It's simple as that. If it's that important, you know. I'm showing my address on stream. I'm not bothered. My door's always open. Doesn't bother me, mate. If someone turned up on my door, I just invite them in for a cuppa. Chris, I miss the depth in monitors as I'm on an OGY now, yeah. Yeah, the the wraparound feel, whether you're on 27s or you know. Oh yeah, right, mate. I thought I could smell you. You okay? Very chilled out. It's amazing how mental she went after she spoke to you. She wouldn't settle down. Yep. No, she was in, she was in full batter go play mode. So, yeah. No, as soon as she came back in here, that was it. We went out for a smoke. We had a, a thrill ball for her outside and she was in full play mode and then when I came back in sat on the floor with her to play with her and then she laid down and I'm like oh it's like that is it you have to see the woman of our dreams big speedy yeah enjoying the little bit farming being able to just add a bit of centre springs nice to the wheel, you know, so you can just let go. Returns. Uh, and the other nice thing, joysticks. Yeah, look. Walk around on the. Yeah, you're completely right, yeah. Yep, we need an umbrella or something. Grand's probably got some, you know, from 1942. You're gonna wait, are you? Well, your dog's staring at you. You want me to find the cardboard box to put in your head or something? <laughs> put a bag on your head. I'm off, nice to see you. stream. Uh, see you later, enjoy your day. See you later, Bob. I hope you're not leaving just because I was insulting you. He got his shifter. Uh, he seemed happy with it. He's, he's a hard man to read. But yes, he seemed very happy with it. Yeah, he said the tension wasn't as hard as his fanatic. Whereas I found the opposite. Definitely. Yeah, I think... I think so. It does hinder your leverage. Go on a weak shaft, mate. What monitor would you uh, recommend? Why is this bale a different size? Uh, it, de it depends what you what you're asking for uh, for the depth in sim in this Sims games. Uh, honestly, it, de 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 it depends what you want to go for. I mean, I'd struggle to go back to a map monitor now uh, purely just for the colour point of reference. Uh, so I would struggle to go back to a map non-reflective monitor, definitely. Yes, I've got a bezel free kit. I have already tried it. It's awesome. I just can't afford to get two of them. But yeah, it's very, very good.
Look at that dude. Yeah, Tangus, I know. What's the map? What's the map name? Uh, Cart Farms. Uh, it's it's good. It's got a good feel to it. I like the built upness of it. I mean, from a multi aspect, like a multiplayer point of view, we're gonna have to. Uh, we would have to build a yard or something. I, I think, to be honest. Uh, Uh, love a shifter. Glad you're willing to. Not taking off the extension now. Nah. I didn't think you would, but you will one day. I did run mine for over a year, like. Uh. Oh girl. All right. So silage. Problem is, won't be silage yet, will it? Oh, so uh, what I'm gonna have to do is just stack these here, and we'll have to load them up till there. Yeah, it's one of them. I mean, one of the one of the real cool things. Yeah, one of the real cool things about like a full setup is, especially if you don't drive or have any like other major hobbies, it really becomes like a project car. That type of, you know, it's that type of thing. Really, it's really cool to work on them and buy things for them, and yeah, it's awesome. Uh, you missed the depth in there, yeah. So, Chris Smith, when you said you went for an ultra wide, what did you go for? Because a lot of people don't really understand the difference between an ultra wide and a super wide. So, it gets confusing talking to people about them. What size did you actually go for? I'm good, man. How are you, Storky? Nice to see you in the old uh, Euro truck. Yeah, I mean, you could just go a wheel on the desk. I play a wheel on the desk. I don't mind. I don't, I'm quite, for trucking, I quite happily play a wheel on the desk. 100%. No issues. One of the cool things about wheel on the desk is you can really get comfortable, whereas in a rig, when you're trucking for hours and hours, you just can't move. Like, being on your desk trucking is awesome. Like, I'm a big fan of it. More than people think I would be, I think. I think it's just going to be back to contracts after this, I think. I need a, I need a good full day on the farm to work out what the hell we're doing, because I don't really know where the farm's at at the moment. So. 
I'll figure it out. Get to spend more time with it. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? Honestly, some of the some of the sessions I've had uh, in my rig where I've been bolting things on and unbolting things and rebolting things, and uh, it's awesome, man. I mean, when you get to the stage where I'm at now, and everything pretty much just works, uh, that's an awesome feeling as well. Being able to just jump on the rig and off you go, it's 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 really good. Uh, Ryan, did you, uh, I'm interested to see if his game smoothed out yet. Thirty-four, yeah, so it's an ultra wide, yeah, but yeah. Twenty, so you, you went from triple screens to 134, did you? That's mad. That's, uh... That's a 34 on top of my desk. It's tiny, man. That's insane. You, you went from, what, triple 27s to a, a 27 and a quarter? Eh, sorry, a 27 and a half. That's mad. That's a huge step down right there. Yeah, very smooth, yeah. Another another cache issue as well, like if you can change your monitor to like 120 or whatever uh, and you can constantly hold that 120, it'll feel smoother as well. Just don't forget your eyes see the frame rate change, so if you can't hold whatever your, your monitor is asking for, sometimes it can look a lot worse than just holding 120 or 60 or whatever. Right, yeah, I'm gonna go and sort of pop her out. Seeing as though we've had a good farm. I'm gonna go and sort of pop out and then I will get sorted for some trucking at some point tonight. Been good, that. Ran really well. Well happy. Once farm some clothes, that is. Uh, do you have...
Do I have a laptop for when I'm not on stream? I have a little notebook. You can probably see the notebook behind us. It's so, uh, yeah. But yeah, I have a little notebook for when I'm chilling. Uh, but no, I don't have like a gaming laptop or anything like that, so. Uh, I don't know what I'll be trucking. I'm normally out with a dog for about an hour, an hour and a half. We do about four and a half miles or so, so. Uh, yeah, I'm normally out with her about an hour, an hour and a half, so probably I would say half, six, seven-ish. We'll see. Right, I'll catch up with you all later. Peace out, have a good one.